Either way, crawl into your mouth when you're asleep. True. And you'll never know. Either way. And so we, we return uh, to Scorch of Stone. I believe this is episode five? Question mark? I'm not exactly sure. It's something. It's at least episode two. We've done a lot of things. <laughs> Shockingly, it's really yeah. Kind of, it's really kind of obfuscating how long we've actually been playing. It yeah, hasn't been that long. You guys have been uh, very efficient with your time, I'll just... <laughs> I'll, I'll just say that. But either way, following our group's pattern of stupidity, on the last episode of Scorch of Stone... They encountered a mist serpent that had been following them as of Sia's orders. With the help of Ivan Boneworks, they were able to defeat it. And now, after sending their new party member into another dimension, again, they now face the after effects of it as we return to the camp. Or they were staying in. And thus, the floor is yours. Is there any remnants of the beast around? Uh, the beast was essentially fog, so it essentially just dissipated. Just Where you guys left off... Like dust, but no. Nah. Uh, no. Where you guys left off was essentially, uh, the giant death portal that sent Gonzo into who God knows where. Yeah, I was gonna be like, go into camp and go to sleep, but then, you know... But I don't think any of us seen death. it. Mm-mm. -hmm. I didn't see it. Well, you guys sent him out. He said he was going to go do it, and he has not returned. Ah. I think I heard the explosion. Right? Did it make an explosion noise, or was it just a zoom? Uh, it was kind of probably a mix of both, as it essentially just kind of like ripped up the ground around it and sucked it all into a single little portal. I don't need music for this. Not everything needs music. <clears throat> so do you guys all just sleep? Uh, yeah. Well, somebody has to watch, I'm assuming, or I don't know. I mean, this kind of happened during WoW's watch. Already wa I already watched once. This was in the middle of uh, Silas's watch. So I guess we could just continue watch cycle. Wait, Silas's watch? Yeah, Silas's watch? You, you wandered into the woods. Wait. I thought Silas died before... No, not Silas. Fuck, Akatosh. God damn uh, it. Like dumb as fuck. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> So yes. it's still my watch then, right? Yes. Okay. Well, after all that happened, uh, I think Agatosh is gonna go straight to bed. Did you learn to heed my warnings? Hmm. I think you learned a lesson and maybe not going out there alone. Hmm. I'm good enough. It's a shame that, uh, that, uh, that fellow we just met died. <laughs> ah. What uh, happened to him? I didn't see anything. Uh, Gonzo, uh. Well, Gonzo's you know, Gonzo. That is true. All Do we really place. need another homeless man in our party? Hmm. We could always use more help, but these capsules... I'm not sure if we can really keep them around anymore. Yeah, so Here throw them out. Goes. Well, how about you eat my last one then, huh? I have only one capsule left. Sure. Are I'll take sure it. This? No, I'm not... Uh, the... Yeah, just give me the capsule. Um, you're not gonna... Just give me the capsule. I'll think of this keeper for now. <laughs> if you're not gonna do anything else besides keeping it... What? No, I'm going to use it. I don't know what you're talking about. Are you going to use it? How are you going to use it then? 
Eh, uh, just watch. Okay. I'll go ahead and give you a camp stool. I'm gonna walk to the border and throw it. <laughs> to the camp and just throw it. Alrighty. It's time. Uh, I would say a good 30 feet away from <laughs> The specification. <laughs> yes. Yes. All right, yeah, just uh, uh, a good distance. Uh, uh. Time for the new charts. Boop, boop. Oh, that's a one hundred intensity. Is that bad? No, it's in the positive. Yeah, fifty-eight. Fifty-eight is just slightly in the positives. It's a low positive. But, but it's, it's a positive. A positive. Allow me to consult my charts. I forget what the second one means. Uh, essentially how it works out my fucking hair is not a shit why is that is where happening? it is that's the cum world what the fuck happened what is this i don't know what the hell that is anyways apologies uh but essentially how it works is the first one is just essentially how good or bad it is uh the second one i guess would probably be like quality is the way you could probably call it. And then the third one is intensity. So this would probably be an item of some sort. Mm. Okay. So let's see here. Why haven't I been the one throwing all of these capsules? It seems like I actually know what to do. Another egg. Another. Ooh. I'm pretty sure with the way how you have it set up now anyways, I'm pretty I can't evade a curse just by distance. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh distance does not sadly does not <laughs> evade a curse. Unless there's something closer to eat the blow. <laughs> Maybe I should have put the egg in front of it. Curse the egg. The but either way, so as you throw the as you throw the capsule into the woods, first for a moment, a puff of smoke will appear, and then after oh, that, a single stone will lie in its place, and from the stone, you're able to see the hilt of a sword. <laughs> Is it a sword? <laughs> Oh my god, it's one of these. Oh my god. Uh, fuck it. I'll go for the hilt. Alright, give me a strength roll. I'm guiding. <laughs> Here. Let me pull my I didn't have my sheet up after I put it down. Okay. So plus one, plus one deep. Ah. Ooh. Nice. Ah. Oh. Solid 23. Right, and you will pull out this weapon. A moment, please. A sort of fun times and friendship. It doesn't do any damage. <laughs> yeah. I'm still typing up the fucking weapon. I don't remember. There was an actual D&D &D weapon that didn't do damage. It just 
and it didn't heal people. It, it like was a placeholder weapon for just magical effects. It was just weird, but it was cool. Might have been homebrew, but yeah. Copy paste this. All right, this is what you've gotten. You pull, you pull out from the stone a sort of royal seeming long sword. It gives off a faint magical glow to it, and Whoa, it seems it's plus two. Holy shit! In addition to that, it seems to give off a sort of holy aura. Fuck yeah! It is, however, unidentified. Nah, yeah, it's not a problem. Right, I'll throw an arcana at it just for shits and giggles. I still have guidance on me. All right. Mm -hmm. Was it two? Six. That'll be sufficient. It has this magical effect. What the fuck? Wow. Radiant damage. Do I even have anything that does radiant damage, actually? Aren't you a uh, paladin? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not. I have things that do fire. Mm. Just do radiant fire damage. That's true. I don't, I don't know if that's how that works. Ow! Oh god. Somebody changed my fucking 5e e tools. I'll rest, and I'll just change Thaumaturgy to Sacred. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, because it's a long range. <laughs> a long rest. Hey, you proved me wrong. <laughs> Hell yeah. Ah. Maybe it is a best, your best fucking cantrip. Wait, does burning, does burning Spear do radiant damage? Oh, let me check. Uh, that's... Is that even a fucking spell? I don't see it on my spell yes, list. Yes, it is. <laughs> uh, post in chat what it does. Because I'm not entirely sure. Hold on, let me pull up the page. Uh, bu -bu -bu -bu. it's a second level spell. Or actually, no, it isn't. It's a freaking cleric. Weird. Or not cantrip. Cleric like this. Um, flaming spear. Flaming. Be making up all kinds of shit. Hmm. Let's see here. I don't think that this does. Light domain. Burning hands. Oh, flaming sphere. Yeah. It's not, called different things pretty consistently. Not Weird. spear. Okay, flaming sphere does fire damage. What about scorching ray? <laughs> Actually, what about most of? Not many things do radiant damage. Yeah. Just get smites. What the? Well, why the fuck do you get fireball at fifth level? What? The <laughs> Wow. You take a look at cleric light, don't they? Yeah, I'm looking at this, I'm like, why? <laughs> why do you get Scorching Ray? This is so stupid. And I still get access to healing spells, the good ones, too. Oh, Christ. This character is bullshit. <laughs> well, I already set the parameters prior that I was wrong about a few things. Yeah. Then I was right about a few things. I wonder. I wonder if in 5e tools, can I sort by damage type? No, I don't think I can. I can. Oh, I can! Oh, shit. Alright, radiant damage spells. Sacred Flame, Word of Radiance, Divine Favor, Guiding Bolt. Yeah, Guiding Bolt does like 46. Branding Smite, Moonbeam, Binding Smite, Crusader's Mantle. What spells do you have right yeah, now, actually? Yeah, right, Guiding Bolt, yeah. Mm. I, might have to really rearrange some, I might have to rearrange some spell slots on the fly since we're on a rest right now. Fuck. Yeah. Uh, I like but all of way, these, though. Aside from the technical stuff. You have now obtained this 
golden sword of flowing divine energy. That's cool. Whatever. 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 Can I history check it? <laughs> uh, you may. Additionally, Akatosh, what do you think of this blinding light of a fucking sword? Mm -mm -mm. Da -da -da. Oh, oh really? all right. D20 plus two. Ah, nope. unfortunate. You are able to tell that this sword is, in fact, made of metal. Maybe. Ah, uh, let's see if I can... Oh, uh, no, 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 no. I use a lucky... Too, it's too late for that. I gotta use guidance before I use... Yeah, just to grab the entire effect. I know what it does, though. Yeah. Okay, what happens? I he got, got a, a cool magic sword. sword. Nice. <laughs> it's a plus two sword. <laughs> it's kind of dumb. That's true. <laughs> Imagine really being undead. Radiant spells. Yeah, uh... Do I just drop pulled person for this? Because I want to use locate object. What does locate object even do? Uh, 1,000 meters. If you know what an item is and you've seen it before, you know where it is now. Eh, doesn't do damage. It sucks. Yeah, but I like knowing where things are. <laughs> it's fun. Just use your eyes, dipshit. Yeah, but I'd rather use my feels. My sense. Get out of jail. Yeah, I guess I'll just drop hold person for another slot to find. <laughs> use holy bolt. I mean, uh, guiding bolt. Holy thing. bolt. Holy bolt. Uh, uh, Diablo 2. Uh, Diablo, okay? I've been <laughs> playing Diablo. I want to play Diablo. That's cool, <laughs> yeah. Alrighty. We can continue then. No. The floor Into is yours. The sleep mode. Sleep mode. Unless if any... I, I'm just gonna walk on by like nothing happened. I got a cool sword. It's mine now. It's out in the open. It's not like I'm hiding it. But it's a cool yeah. sword. It's a bright ass nice. fucking Smile. flashlight. Hmm? Walking around the dark with a glowing stick. Yeah, I'm gonna attach light to it. Use a light cantrip on it. When? It becomes even brighter. Whoa. Or well, perhaps it has some sort of other effect. I don't know. <laughs> By the way, yeah. I just assume you all rest in for the night. <coughs> yeah. Yeah. Very well. And I'll switch up those cantrips around. Or uh, my uh, thaumaturgy cantrip, the Sacred Flame, and... Uh... Yeah. If anyone else wants to do something like that, you may do so now. And change hold person to guiding bolt. I'm downgrading. <laughs> Actually, nah, I'm actually gonna <laughs> change Inflict Wounds the Guiding Bolt. Damn. Yeah, fuck it. Abandoned. Feels bad, man. It's better this way, because now I can start doing melee attacks. Is your rest in for the night? Yeah. Uh, this time, as you are no longer being hunted by Sia, the night passes with ease, and you are able to get a rather good rest. <clears throat> However, to wake you is the clanging of metal and supplies as Ivan begins to load up all the camp stuff and begins to 
ready everyone for the coming journey. You three, are you awake yet? Awake enough. Hey, Ivan, do you know what this sword is from? <laughs> hmm. No clue. Wait, when the hell did you get a new sword? We're in the middle of a forest. Uh. Gambling. Yeah. A little bit of gambling with uh, a certain magic capsule. You know, those that fun fate altering goblin? We got a bunch of capsules from him and they. Alter fate. You do realize that is likely what got us into this situation in the first place, don't you? Well, yeah. we're not necessarily going to look any better if we s stop. <laughs> yes, but you I'm might always. look any worse if you don't. Yeah, I'm content. Where did that uh, goblin run off to? The one. Ah, oh, he just ran into the woods. What goblin? The, uh, goblin, the... Uh... Hmm. The homeless one. The right. one that fought the serpent. I remember no goblin. I only remember me fighting the serpent. Uh, gone serpent. Yeah. yeah, gone Me. By the way, ready your things. Hmm. We shall head out to... The border camp is nearby. We shall head out to... We shall head out soon. Right. Yeah. Help clean up camp. And that's <clears throat> to camp you go. I'm attuning myself to this wicked ass sword. Wicked. Also... <sighs> Music time. We unfitting a bit. By the way. Just a bit, so it's audible in the VOD. Alright, as you make your way into the camp, you're immediately able to see that it was hastily built in order to quickly accommodate for the influx of fleeing refugees from Glane. Storming the camp are soldiers in fiery red cloaks whose edges are singed with an ash-like gray color, each of them with a strange weapon on their backs and a red-hot rapier at their side. In addition to them are similarly dressed medicinal officers, rushing from tent to tent and providing care to the wounded or dying. You are able to see one familiar face amidst the scene, however, as a rather annoyed looking Astraea stares you down impatiently, all the while looking for Theseus in the process. There's been some occurrences on our way here. Quite crazy ones. Oh really? Do you mean the giant flash of grey in the sky? Yeah. Why do I have a feeling that it's your fault that this has happened? Eh, not necessarily our fault. How would it be if it wasn't fault? us, then it probably would have been somebody else. We were caught in some circumstances. Yeah, I'm sure it's none of us. It's probably just the, uh, just the weather, you know? A thunderstorm, maybe? No, no, no. Something definitely happened. Of course it happened. I don't think weather could cause something like that that would cause the near the yeah, that would cause nearly the entire continent to shake. Uh, yes, I believe it was a uh, traveling goblin, according to what Sia said, or something like that. Some fate altering sorcerer. Sia. Or... Yes. Explain yourself. Tell me oh, exactly yes. what happened. Uh. So. A god decided to appear in... What was that town that we were in? I don't remember. Too much. In Zia from City. Oh yeah, that one. One of uh, those. The small one. One moment, please. I know the name of it, but I'm gonna make you roll for it. <laughs> LOL. But I know because I'm from Zia Flem. I mean, not knowing in characters, by the way. <laughs> Doesn't really give yeah. a fuck. He's just like drifting. I uh, guess just give here. me like a wisdom saving throw or something. For okay. re recollection. Oh no, I know which. No, I would have made notes. <laughs> oh, if you know what it is, then you can say it. Yep. 
Mm-hmm. I gotta oh, bring him up. Oh, yeah. That is it. I think. I cannot hear John Ditu. Olafon. Olafon. That was the capital of Claudia. Mm, oh, yeah. That wasn't the right one. We were in Zirfland for a bit. Yeah, we yeah, were we were in a city, uh, and then things happened. <laughs> a lot of things. Nothing that was intentional, of course. There was a fate-altering sorcerer that wreaked havoc across the plain. And I assume you dealt with him. Well. I don't think we have the power necessarily to combat a Vedic Sorcerer. What the hell is a Vedic Sorcerer? And additionally... Know, something, something according to Sia that, you know, can alter fate. And While you're insane. spitting your own madness, I have two questions. Well, actually three. One of which I don't actually care about. The first one being, where the hell is Theseus? Oh, he went back to Claudia, apparently. It... I'm just guessing that the situations were connected. <sighs> Theseus always was the king's lapdog. Makes sense that he would just run back like that. The second of which being who the hell is this skeleton? Oh. No. Oh. Yeah, he helped us. I did much more than help you, my friend. My name is I, Sir Ivan Bo I don't care. Shut up. Bone works. That's a... I'll just... Call you Ivan for now. I assume you're the one that's going to be escorting or de helping me out in this mission now that Theseus isn't here. I believe so, yes. These three promised to me an ancient artifact that I could use to return to Claudia. Should I help them? Where Silas? Estrella will give you a very annoyed glance. What did you promise him? Oh, I promised that I would use the artifact to assist him in going back there. I wouldn't give it to him. Liars! They said they would give it to me. Ah, uh, fine. We'd be going with you anyways, so... There's no problem. We would give it to you, I suppose. You're I'm afraid you won't. Position in high value. Apologies, Sir Ivan. If you wish, I can give you a ride back to Claudia, if that is where you are from. However, that is an artifact of the king of Claudia, Sir Gordo. Ah, that old coot is still in power, I see. Nearly 200 years, and that man still sits on the throne. Rather odd, don't you think? I don't think it is odd, odd at all. What I do think is why you would want this artifact and why you're so eager to return to Claudia. I'm afraid I cannot answer that question. As it would reveal certain things I wish not to say, as they could be incriminating to my character. Estrella will let out a rather loud sigh. <clears throat> Either way, what happened to that Silas fellow you th you were traveling with? Oh, yes. Uh, when we were confronted with that god, uh, he attempted to murder us all. And how to exactly... And, nope, that's the wrong place. <laughs> and how exactly did that play out? Uh, we yeah, abandoned we him there. And then he disappeared? Like, one place into nowhere. Poof. <clears throat> I see. Well, given that Ivan will be traveling with me and the dangerousness of your, this mission... It's likely that you would need to be able to bolster your numbers a bit. Three is not exactly a good way to travel. She will motion towards the sort of more militaristic style of the camp, uh, to the right of you. If you go over there, there should be a couple mercenaries that are, would be very easily looking for a, jo for a job. Go find one. Hmm. Alright. I'll walk over there. And you, Ivan, stay here. There's something I must discuss with you. Very well. Right. <clears throat> As you cross into this part of the camp, 
uh, you can see that despite the hastily made nature of the camp, it is incredibly organized in a near mechanically perfect nature. Various caravans filled with weaponry, food, and medicine, uh, tools, materials, supplies, and even one is filled with a couple scrolls or held in a tight area. Many of the tents are made of the same gray cloth, but there are two that seem to designate both a captain's tent as well as a mercenary's tent, captains having a red feather emblazoned on it, and the, and the other one having various equipment lying outside of it. Hmm. Are they gathered in a location, or is there a registrar of some sort? What do you mean? Like, the is tents? there, like, an administrator around? Oh yeah, that would be the, uh, big red tent. Yes. Probably walk into there. Right. As you enter this tent, you will find a, lo a lone soldier. He is tall, blonde, has tired yet focused eyes, and is still in full uniform despite doing something as simple as just writing a letter. As you walk in, you will say, Ah, hello there. I'm Captain Kristoff. Who might you be? Uh, yes, I am Roland of the Order of Elivir. Uh, do you have any men who you're able to spare for various incursions? I believe I do. But first, I must ask, who might you be? And, well, I suppose I already asked that, but I must ask your purpose here. I can't simply uh, go be giving away my men in such a dire time. Yes, let me specify, we are making an incursion into Glane. A fairly risky and vaguely suicidal action, as you may know. Uh, hmm. But we must, as we are ordered by the king to do so. Ah! So you are the one. You are the one sent by King Gordo to aid us. Very yes, well. Indeed. I believe I do have a couple of bit of a few supplies that could help you, as well as a man, as a man that just recently arrived. We don't have many mercenaries in stock at the moment, as many of them have wandered into the forest, bounty hunters and the like. Though that one still sits around. Not sure, not too sure why. You could probably go see him. Hmm. Will do. Mind giving me a vague description of him before I approach? Just so, so I know who he is. I don't so want to pick the wrong one. You never fucking described your character to me. I got it one second. What the fuck was that? LFM that was, tank? Hello? That's a copy pasta from when I was playing WoW earlier today. I thought I had, thought I had the photo. Oh, thing. yes. The man appears to be a WoW copy pasta. I have no idea what this means. Okay, this is what he looks like, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Enjoy. Ah, oh, I see. I'm trying to describe this as best I can. Well, the man himself is rather scruffy. He seems to be an adventurer of sorts and a halfling man. Hmm. His hair is very. Do you know if he would necessarily agree to this, or is it up to him or up to you? Well, given that he's a mercenary as well as a halfling, there's not much he can find in the ways of work around here. So I imagine he'll be more than willing to have a party to go into the Petrified Forest with. Mm, as Additionally, as he seems fine with it. Between his pointy ears, as well as his even more pointy hair, huh. he seems well equipped to be able to go into places such as this. Hmm. Sounds good to me. Go ahead and send the picture oh. in the main chain. Elf 1M Tank Glane Petrification Forest. Must know the Raider King. By the way. <laughs> Alright, what is, uh... Akatosh and... Fuck. I'm freezing up here. Hold on, go on. John Vale. John Vale. It's here. Yeah. Akatosh and Eric, what are y'all doing? Are you just falling, rolling around? Yeah, I guess. Yeah, I'm falling around, rolling as well. Alrighty. And thus, you arrive into the mercenary's tent, where you see a lone halfling just sitting on the bed. And now, Zev, your time has come. Introduce thyself. Character's name is Jackson Hardrake. He's a adventurer uh, and an Indiana Jones type kind of guy, where he his his interests and his goals are to uh collect artifacts and display them in museums and uh 
galleries and things like this, um, but not really for per personal gain, but to preserve history. Um, yeah, and here's the photo of him that I found on the internet that I thought would really, that looked good because it looked like how I was kind of imagining this character to look like. So yeah, there, yeah, he's just kind of cool. Is it like a halfling? Yes, he is like a halfling. And he's a rogue. He is a halfling. Wow. Nice. Mm. I heard you were vaguely suicidal. What's your pay rate? I don't really care for pay. I'm more interested in the things we do. Hmm. Sounds good to me. Free as free can be. Eh, free, free, sure. Eh, of course, you'll be subject to the same looting rights as everyone else in the party. Ah, perfect. Just be aware, you snooze, you lose. Ah, trust me, trust me, I am quick with my hands. Quick, huh? And what about strength? Eh, strength is, uh, more, more bravado and toughness, huh? Better to <sighs> get back up from a punch rather than, uh, how hard you can hit. That's a form of strength for us. Yeah, Jackson, uh, can you fight? Uh, I can certainly fight. I'm a specialist in many things. Fighting, adventuring, exploring, delving. A multitude of things, really. Hmm. However, I must say I am more accustomed to taking hits. Mm. You can take it, but not necessarily dish it. Eh, good enough. You're better <laughs> off than the- <laughs> Well, actually, you're not better off. You're about quite as even as the previous party members that we have came across. They knew how to take it quite well. <laughs> yeah, this uh, that's... Not a uh, great omen. I'm, I'm sensing. Uh, as long as you aren't stupid, you should be fine. Uh, I'm not stupid. I bet, uh, I bet you would I be a fine, uh, a fine form of competition against the two form, uh, two homeless people that we had prior. Homeless, you say? Yes, yeah, quite poverty stricken. Strange, strange. Well, I'm not homeless. However, I'm not wealthy. Well, as in homeless, I mean, they were a little unstable. Ah, madness, huh? Uh, you, you tend to see it around these lands. It's not their fault. <laughs> that wasn't... <laughs> <laughs> well, I suppose it isn't. However, uh, you'll find I'm not mad. I'm, I'm quite capable of uh, taking care of myself and uh, mentally I'm aware and acute. Eh, good enough. Anyways, we need to continue. We have many things to do. Uh, yes. May I ask, what, what are you doing? What is your goal? Oh, uh... You know how I said suicidal, correct? Y yes We're attempting to... destroy the plague airing gleam. Oh, you, you just want to die? Yeah. But if uh, we don't, that's... but what if we don't, Bo? And you, you call your former party members mad? Uh, yes, but they were more vaguely suicidal than any of us. We, any of us. I, I suppose, I suppose. They were really wanting it. Uh, they were straight up dumb. What, what happened to them? I've, I've, I'm more than curious at this point. You've well, one of them disappeared, and the other one also disappeared as in that... like not the disappears in running away but the disappears in vanishing instantly like from existence or just well, like one was away. the other one the other one we haven't had any word back from after he mm, threw a magical capsule onto the ground ah that's wait certainly so what odd? To the goblin the goblin y yes yeah well, yeah, that one was the second one that disappeared after we gave him a fun capsule. We gave, we gave him a fun capsule. I've... Oh my 
Yeah, it was. I think that was, was fun, you actually. actually. You gave him that one. This Maybe. party sounds doomed. <laughs> eh, I mean, we told him that it was not smart. I've kept all my capsules to myself, and I will certainly <laughs> continue to do so. <laughs> well, I don't think I'm going to be throwing any of these fun capsules anytime I don't soon. know, you hey, can get yes, some I cool things from these fun capsules. <sighs> After all, I got this cool sword from one of them. Show me the hey. sword. Show me the sword. I'll run sheaf, it's in front of you. Hmm, it's very cool. Can I, can I roll perception or, or something? Oh, uh, yes. To... You may roll a history check as you're an history artifact correct, uh, collector. Fuck yeah. Additionally, where are you from exactly? I, this... I, have, to, I have to put that fucking that fuck. Okay, okay. Just give me a second with that. <laughs> because depending I'm on where from... it is, you could get advantage I'm on from this. from the, the one um the one scholarly place. No, yes. Antac. Antac. Thank you. Thank you. I was forgetting the name. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, that's where that I'm is. from. All right. That would not give you advantage, but you can still roll history on this. Gotcha. I have... I'll Plus even tell him history. what it does. I'll give him some hints. I'll tell him exactly about it. No, no, don't tell me. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. I want to. Well, no, I don't know where it is. I'm just saying in character, if it'll assist you to identify what the hell it is. No, 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 no. My character would never do that. My character would never take that. God damn it. Pepto. <laughs> I'm not stupid. <laughs> yes. It's cool. It's made of light and slashes. And then I can use my cool magic with it, and it makes it brighter. Does it have a name? <laughs> Fuck if I know. <laughs> Does it belong to a certain pantheon of gods or anything? Well, I know it uses radiant power. Uh, that's, Perhaps that's it could unique. be related to Elevira Vagby, but aside from that, I'm not aware. You do appear to be a a, uh, a lover of Alivera. You can uh, tell by your yes. shield that you bear. It's quite quite uh, gaudy, don't you think? Uh, <laughs> useful, more like. Interesting. Um, well, I must let you know I am a collector of such artifacts and interests. Not yes, for and my like own I, and like I said, these capsules can provide them. But that's the reason why we use the capsules. I'm not necessarily... Forcing you to use one. Show me one of these capsules. God fucking uh, I don't have any on me. <laughs> which, one you, which one of you uh, interesting think... characters, let's say, has one? Oh, I, I do not recommend throwing one of these at camp. I think they're all mine now, the ones we have left. I'll show you. <laughs> Do I want to see you throw one, my friend. No, no, I want no. to see you. Not, 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 not yeah. in a populated area. Not in a popular. This is, uh... Well, you know how I said fun capsules? I really mean fun. Look, I'll pull one out and I'll like hold it so he can see, but I'll I had a fun that kills you, you say. Uh, the okay. fun that can I'm gonna, kill I'm gonna you. bend in and look at it like inquisitively, but not like take it from everything. I'm just gonna like. Well, I mean, he's an orc. You wouldn't really be bending in; It'd more be like <laughs> yeah. standing on your tiptoes. Yeah, I take that back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of like inspecting it with like one eye shut. You know what I mean? Oh uh, yeah. It's... Like inquisitively, but like has no idea what the hell he's looking at. Um, anything like this. You could this roll is, uh, an identification check. <laughs> okay. Uh, what would that just just a d20? It'd probably just be an int check. Int check. So minus one. Uh, it would probably be insight. Actually, that would probably be wisdom. I thought insight was plus still one. lying, though. Why did you take minus one in? I don't. <laughs> Cause I'm a I'm a tank rogue, bro. You took 16 string. Yeah. Why? <laughs> I don't understand. No, I didn't. Let me link this motherfucker's character sheet. Oh wait. Oh, hold on a minute. 11 strength, 18 dex, 13 con, 8 and 12 wisdom, 14 charisma. Yeah. I'm just stupid. I think my character is very well made, if I do say so. Oh really? Yeah, extremely. What's your god? Uh, bitch. <laughs> my not interested in gods, man. I don't know what to tell you. I my character is more interested in preserving the history of gods, not a particular. He doesn't serve a particular, or or, or is a, a big fan of any particular god. I believe there's a god for that, though. There's a god for not being interested in gods. No, there's a god or, for this be, preserving this history. Investigation check? There's a god for preserving. If there's a god for preserving history, then I must sell the sheet, and that's the one I'm going with. 
Let's Got see him. here. I'll Allow me to check my stuff. One moment, please. I'm looking at stuff. Give me a fucking moment to look at mm. things. I mean, there should be if there's not a need to make one. I'll look real quick. Oh, I rolled a 19. Maybe you'll get lucky. Given that you're a traveler, cool. Dolstrom comes a bit close. Hmm. Non, uh, god of time, can be seen as a preservation of history. Okay, I'm a big fan of Non then, I guess. Or at least I'm not a huge fan, I'm just like, I, I'm, a, I'm a follower of Non, I suppose. Lawsneck is a god of mining. It could be artifact hunting or archaeology or whatever. Yeah, sure, I mean... Wait, 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 okay, wait, wait. Which one's which? Alright, so, so non, there non is Non, who is the god of time, falseness, yeah. and truths. Mm -hmm. uh, he is essentially a godly representation of how facts get twisted over time and things are bent throughout history. Uh, then you have Loznak, who is a dwarven god uh, and is seen as the ruler of the mountains, the controller of order, and a sort of mining god that many would pray to. Sort I'm of how Ares is a god of wars. Non. Yeah. Definitely. Non's wicked. He's also one of the formless gods, which I like. All right, now what's your super in-depth backstory? <laughs> oh, okay. Chinese I didn't, make, elephant I didn't party. make one of those. My character, my, it's not super in-depth. It's just like a basic kind of outline of... of uh, should, I, should I just like say it like out of character, in character? What's the deal? What are we doing here? You can figure it out later if you want. Yeah. Oh, no, I, know, I, I, I know like the backstory. Uh, you could bring it up in our... Find out in oh, RP. Okay, okay, okay. I mean, you're nobody asked. Me. Yeah, nobody <laughs> asked. No, Why I would anyone ask? Smile. You were uh, busy looking at the capsule, right? Yeah. Either way, back to capsules. Comsels. Mm. Okay. Um. These things seem uh, poorly thought of and poorly used. <laughs> oh no, they have an they have a clear intention. Although I don't know if you should know this. I would agree with the poorly used spark though. Hey, yes, yeah, more like poorly used, well thought out. I must ask, did the death of your last two party members involve these capsules? Vaguely. Maybe. Vaguely. Oh, and no, also, we yeah. don't know if they died. Uh, the disappearance, let's say. Apparently, so, yes. Well, uh, one had to do with the creator of them, and then the other had to do with <laughs> him using one. Uh, are they dead? I don't know. Hmm. But you haven't seen them. In a, in a in a while, you know. No, they, they vanished. Well, one of them directly vanished. Uh, but that wasn't because the capsule. It was because you know he was smack talking a god right in he front of them. He was smack talking a god. You say? Oh <laughs> uh, yes. Uh, he re he refused. To, he refused to obey a direct order from a god and then vanished from view. I wonder perhaps what's he's, happened. Perhaps he's after. more mad than than I thought of you guys. Yes, but... that's when I said. They were- they wanted it. Yes. I- I do think things will be interesting with this group. <laughs> well, interesting or we're all going to die, but I'm assuming it'll be interesting. Well, if we're delving deeper into petrification and the like, I'm sure yeah, we'll be fine. something interesting, I'm sure. Yes. Speaking of... Hmm... I wonder how close it is to us, actually. I'm gonna look at the petrification shards I have near me, and I want to cast Locate Object to, to see if I can find something similar to them, or not similar, if there is one of, like, petrification euros. Uh, as you cast that, the answer that you will receive is yes, as you are just on the uh, border edge of Glane. And... Oh, I mean, like, real close. Like, close to camp. Oh no, none is in camp. Uh, the petrification okay, seems to be kept out from spreading across the border of Glane. Hmm, it looks like there's no opposition here. Very good. As far as we know. So your goal is to seek out the petrification and put a stop to it? Oh, yes. Purely, um, uh, 
not necessarily for the benefit of everyone. And what do you mean by that? Well, it's nice to help other people, but it also gets everyone's eyes on you. And you see, attention is valuable. A glory seeker, interesting. Glory can do a lot of things. People will rally behind the banner of glory quite easily. And you two? What do you fight for? Why do seek you wish to seek knowledge. the end? You seek knowledge. good knowledge. Uh, knowledge, knowledge you, uh... You may find in these desolate lands, however, I'm unsure. And you, you know, I can actually speak for orc. Orc. <laughs> He I seeks really knowledge. The challenge. Oh, you're just really interested in a challenge. Oh, yeah. and a reward, of course. A true orc. I respect it. Hmm. Uh, I do think... I do think your cause, for the most part, is just. However, your intentions may be. I yeah. think I am willing, more than willing, to join in uh, stopping the petrification, if you will have me. Yes, we need people badly. <laughs> Sounds like you keep losing them, so uh, hopefully, uh, hopefully we don't need to replace someone else. I'll have you know that all four of us have been around since the beginning. Free. Four. Oh. Free. Free. Hey. Free, that's yeah. the one, yes. It's the three of us. Yeah, the three of us. Not, not, n yeah. Yeah. Interesting. It's, it's, it's always the outsider that ends up <laughs> yeah, broken. Yeah, uh, this makes sense. Makes sense. But surely you will be fine. Uh, surely. <laughs> surely. You're up to it? Surely. <laughs> think I'm up to it? Uh, I Anyways. think I'm interested in aiding. Let's stop jerking off and let's get out there. <laughs> Either way, welcome to the group, and I hold out my hand. I'll uh, pull. I'll take out my little, you know, halfling hand and try to shake the big ass orc hand. All right. You shake his hand. Oh my god, huge! Lifting you slightly off the ground as he does so. Massive. That's a big character moment. Write that down. Um. Okay. Anyone else got anything? <laughs> nope. Alrighty. Where else would you like to go? Hmm. Probably. Oh yes, I'm going to ask him. Do you know of anything that's afflicting the camp at all? Any issues that need to be solved? Any qualms? Well, people must be healed, and the people who have lost their homes need to find new ones of course yeah. there's issues here but i'm not sure how much you could solve no i mean as in something that's hindering progress okay now i have to ask what is hinder is there anything hindering progress ah well i was about to get to that awesome uh first well, of all i think you could talk to uh to uh the man you probably spoke to last the man with the blonde hair are you telling me you don't know what's going on here? I I know what's going on, but I do not think I'm the best to explain it. Ah, oh, Christ. You would know that there is something going down with the uh, refugee side of the camp, as many of the <clears throat> incoming refugees often result in sort of, I guess, mutated creatures at times. While others simply turn to stone as a result of their wounds. Okay. Uh, there are some horrors occurring with some of the refugees, which is disturbing. If you wish to look into that, we can. Mm, yes. What kind of horrors do you speak of? Mutations, you see. Petrification mm -hmm. isn't good for the soul, or good for the body, or good for really anything or anyone. I bet mm. Akatosh is uh, intrigued by that. Actually, yes. to be honest with you, perhaps my church's learnings might have described some of these ailments. As curses and ailments aren't necessarily exclusive to the petrification. No, they aren't, but these seem to be different. 
Mm. Have a, do, you, do you wish to see for yourself? We can go. Yes. Okay, I'm going to lead them over to the refugee side of the camp to show them the horrors of what's going on. All right, first I have to ask uh, Wow a question. You're the one that ate the mystery meat. Okay, good. Noted. <laughs> Understood. <laughs> mystery meat. Mm. While we're here, did I make you make a con save way back when? Wow. He might be AFK. Unlucky. Hello. Ah, did I make you uh make a constitution saving throw way back when? Uh, yeah, I think you did. All right. What did you roll on that? I'm pretty sure I succeed, uh, succeeded on that. It was a high roll, if I remember yeah. right. All right. Because I you were remember. you were giggling about it, and then uh, whenever he succeeded, he was like, "Oh, yeah. what? Very well. All right." Damn. Upon entering this part of the camp, you're able to get a closer look at the various peoples here, as injured elves, beerbolds, and a few other oddities, such as kitsunes or dryads, take their rest here for their wounds to be treated. One thing you notice rather quickly is that, for the most part, everyone here is in some way unwilling to leave the camp for a moment. Many of them are injured or with petrified scars, while some orphan children still wait around the camp, hoping to see their parents return from the forest. <coughs> <laughs> oh fuck! <laughs> you all right? I swallowed some water and went down the wrong pipe. Oh, but... fucking fortunate, dude. That shit sucks. And... My narration sucks. Ugh. Fuck. Anyway. Oh god, I gotta go get water. Hold on. <laughs> I can't do my. I can't do my narration voice. Eh. You good. Yeah, I don't know what that was. <laughs> what was that? Probably the mic fucking echoing. Oh yeah, probably. That makes sense. Uh -huh, uh -huh. At least there's farting in the mic, you know? No, that makes more sense, honestly. Okay. That one, I feel, is the right answer. Yeah, what is your mom cooking? Hmm. I really don't know. I haven't looked nice. yet. Mmm, dinner. Food. I want food. God well, damn like it. The most honest time ever to eat dinner. Because it's 428. It's like that is a early ass time to eat, yes. It really is, dude. Like, why? And it's kind of one of the reasons why, uh, you know, I prefer to play Sundays. But, you know, I'm fine with playing Thursdays. It's just that there's just some more stuff going on at home. I'm gonna get some water soon. Yeah. I'm gonna grab a drink. Hmm. Wow. Okay. I think I'm good now. You know, drink of water. Yo. <sighs> Much more carefully this time. Is everybody here? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm sorry, you're here. I, motherfucker.
I just want to make sure of something. Alright. Amongst the dying, you do see one figure of interest. A tall flame guard with crimson eyes and a crossbow on the side of her hip, as well as a slew of medicinal supplies on the other. She seems to be one of the few apothecaries here that has not given up on the refugees, moving between the tents with purpose and vigor of someone just on the edge of a breakthrough. <clears throat> As do you, you seek an assistance of a cleric? <laughs> oh, sorry, uh, I didn't. Uh, you, mu you four must be the new assistants. If you could, fetch me a hot towel from the supplies over in the war camp. And she will uh, yes. quickly dart off. Mm. What did she say exactly? Go fetch a hot towel. But why us? Just a simple... You wish to know more towel. about the situation? Let's grab a towel and assist. Uh, fine. Quest <laughs> mm. accepted. As you grow, grab the uh, towel and return back. Mm -hmm. You will find her in a completely different tent. Ah, thank you. Here, come with me. And she will lead you into another one of the tents where she will begin tending to an elf who appears to have a very large gash that she has, for the most part, been able to close up and is now simply comforting the patient. Can I medicine check to see what it's from? You may. Though this would be more of a nature check. A nature. That works, so. Uh, let me see. Anyone may make this check. If you'd like. Plus zero, and I'm guidancing myself. <laughs> Plus cut. Wait, is it a nature check? Ooh, hold on, I have a big thing. Wait, what Whoa, a 16 it? poggers. Poggers. Did you say nature check? Ooh, 20. Yeah. <coughs> you can roll it if you like. No. I'm lucky. But a nature check, a 20 will be enough to reveal. That that slash wound appears to be from what is known as a Wendigo. Hmm. I relay that to the group. Uh, the Wendigo are sort of like probably an enhanced form of undead, where they have incredibly long claws and are extremely vicious to anything living. Though normally, Would a cleric know what a Wendigo is. Uh, you mo you probably would, yeah. Because you got a 16. Would I be aware of any Sekloi or whatever they're called? You do know that, assuming that this is the way that that went, that infection has been spreading, uh, that is unnatural, as Wendigo are normally simply one-and-done creatures. They don't spread their disease. Hmm. Hmm. Would I be able to... I don't actually have detect magic. I wouldn't be able to tell if there's anything lingering. <laughs> or would I? I don't know if that's Arcana. By the way, you four, given that I assume you're my new assistants, please step out outside the tent. There's things I must discuss. Mm-hmm. She will really bolt out uh, once more. Oh, no, I don't think this were actually her assistants. I will explain after the rush. After all, we have nothing but time on our hands. After all, the big boys and girls are discussing our courses of action. Yeah, and getting a towel wasn't too hard. Yeah. If you could, a, please stop dallying in there. I'll, oh, well, we'll leave the room, I guess. Well, yeah, I will, as, as if she's we'll willing to. Left it. I thought she was saying wait there. No. no, she said she essentially told you uh, go outside. Okay. Yeah, I assume we be... just outside the tent. No. First things first, I must make sure that each of you are not un infected. If you could hold out your arms for me. Will do. Right. As if you were to hold out uh, your arms, you will essentially sort of like take your hand and then look over it very closely. Her eyes sort of glowing in even deeper red. As she does so, as if she's looking into your very blood. Hmm. However, once she gets to Akatosh, she will stop. Hmm. Is there a problem? I believe there's the opposite of a problem. You, my friend, seem to have been somehow infected with the curse of a Wendigo. 
However, you have fought it off. Something that I have not been able to encounter yet. What the? Do that you mind if I take some of your blood real quick? Um, if you insist, sure. All right. She will pluck a dagger from her side and cut open just your hand, I guess, and collect yeah. some blood. I'll hopefully I'll be able to test something on this and get something back. Currently, there is an out. There is a curse going around the forests. It's an outbreak of a Wendigo. Whether you are bitten by them or slashed by them, they seem to be enhanced with some form of poison that spreads that curse and transforms them. As she prattles on about that, you will hear a piercing screech erupt from one of the tents. Ah, unfortunate. Come with me. You'll be able to see firsthand what I what I speak of. Alright. And who will follow her? Alright, we'll wait for Zeb to get back. I assume all of you are just gonna follow though. Yeah, I'm not sure how cure wounds actually works inside of this world. When it comes down to ailments. I believe it just cures wounds. Mm, I don't know, because in some rule sets they say, oh, it also does minor poisons and shit like that, but I think that's just for potions, not for... Uh, yeah. Even if this was a minor... a. It's uh, definitely not think, minor. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's definitely not minor. It's it's Wendigo Curse, I'm just wondering. Cure wounds. This spell has no effect on undead or constructs. Unfortunate. Of course not. <clears throat> we'll wait for Zeb to get back. Also, quick question: Which do you guys prefer, uh, the music or the no music? I like the music. It just keeps me focused. I usually play my own tracks. Ah, oh, okay. Wicked. I'll just turn it down a bit so that the music is fine. Hmm. I usually have mine at like, uh. 20-ish percent. Yeah. Like 30, 40. Yeah, I have mine on 50. And then I have fucking... The two. 200. Fucking turn my mic up like all the way. I mean... I have my, I have my uh, headphones in like 50%, so... I don't want to like... Blast my eardrums or anything. <laughs> I have a sneaking suspicion about the items that you get from these capsules. <laughs> oh really? Yeah, I think they I think these items aren't created. I think they just get zooped to you. <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps. Oh man, I stole somebody's cool ass sword. <laughs> Is this any louder? We do a little trolling. Can you speak again? Yeah, it might be too loud. Wanna know what you could do, Glitz, which I think would be hilarious? Just, like, turn it down a little bit. Mm hmm? Make it a percent chance for parties to steal from other parties. Just really small. Because I... they could steal from anybody. I think it'd be funny. I'll do that. I'll make that one of the 100 effects. Go up a spin, come. <laughs> Alright, that's good enough. We do a little coming. Just a little. Do we? Also, I'd just like to clarify that this chick is a dampier. Ah, eh, who cares? Thought <laughs> I'd mention that. Because it would probably be very obvious if I had fucking I only character art. I only uh, do crusades on things that uh, will get me as much clout as possible. Hmm. Alright. You're from Liberan though, right? Yeah, and also there's probably dampiers there, so... There are definitely dampiers there. Absolutely. And there are hit very... There's a lot of history with them. You know, I probably kind of guessed that humans are second-class citizens in that area. Or at least during nighttime. I mean, to an extent, they kind of just, like, live in peace and then don't f uh, fuck with each other's territory. Yeah. In the areas provided, yes. Though Ivan probably has a very different view on Dampiers. 
<laughs> Ivan's fine. He's from back in the good old days. The fucking <laughs> Thanksgiving dinner racist Uncle Ivan Bonewords. <laughs> Just chugged a fucking glass of water. Mm. Nice. Hell yeah. I have a Mountain Dew Zero. Nice. I like them because they don't taste like the diet ones. They're not gross. They taste like the regular ones. They have zero sugar. Very good. This comment was paid for by Pepsi. <laughs> Peppas. I wish, uh, Baja Blast was a Taco Bell exclusive. It isn't. You can buy cans of Baja Blast. Yeah, you they have Baja Blast can. Zero also. Wait, where do you get to buy it at? Like, Kroger or something? The store I work at has them on occasion. I haven't seen yeah. one recently, but we haven't been getting anything in. Probably still there. Probably just haven't seen it. Wow, he's back. He's back. Yep. Cool. Time to slay a Wendigo. <laughs> Sorry, I was laughing at somebody's tweet. Alright, so, as you follow... Uh, did I mention her name? No. Alright. As you follow the medic into the tent, the scene before you is very little uh, other than gruesome. What you're able to see is an elf whose body has been mutated to an extent there fingers and various limbs sort of like growing out and thin as well as their entire body becoming gaunt their hair and eyes their hair losing in their face essentially becoming little more than bone essentially seeming as this they are almost less than a skeleton wrapped in flesh at this point it lets out even more horrible screeches as you approach as if it knows what's about what ugh, is coming is it strapped down or something like that? It's sort of just uh, wriggling on the floor, just in agony. It's still oh, yes. it's... mildly sane. It's too late, unfortunately. Sadly, this is the fate of many of the refugees that have come from the forest. At least the injured ones. Many of them were attacked by Wendigo as they fled. And if not that, they were attacked by one of the other foul abominations. Mm. If it... A word to the wise. If you see a, if you are being followed by a flock of crows, run. Hmm. Cool. Good to know. Very nice to know. I'm gonna pull out a little a little notebook from my little uh, satchel I have around me, and I'm gonna write that down real quick. Another crows thing you should take note of. Run. <laughs> is that? In a Anyways, do you need us to clean up? Oh no, I could do this just just fine by my own. That's why I have this after all. And she will, in one smooth motion, take out her crossbow and plant a single arrow between the creature's eyes, and it will go still. It may seem cold to do things like this, but in this type of area, you must do what you must to survive, to learn, to grow past these obstacles. Now, as you are my assistance, you will be the one carrying this thing to the cart, and she will walk out the room. Yes. Wait, Adolis. Is that your name? Adolis? Ah, Adolis. Yes. Is there something you need? How did you know I was fighting off the curse of the Wendigo? Ah, well, you see, as dampers are natural blood drinkers, we can see infections and things in people's blood from a mile away. Or, well, not literally, of course. <laughs> hmm, does that mean I'm going to turn into one soon, or...? Oh, no, no. You're you're entirely fine. That's why your blood was so remarkable. Hmm. Interesting. Well, uh, I think a while ago I ate some mystery meat. I couldn't tell what it was exactly, but I might have been aware I've got the curse of Wendigo. Wait, was somebody meat. selling Wendigo meat in a city? 
At the time, I didn't know it was mystery meat. Uh, Wendigo meat, but... It's it doubtful. It's actually mystery meat. The normal source of Wendigo meat, or the curse of a Wendigo, is simple cannibalism. Tiefling eating a tiefling, a human eating a human, etc., etc. Oh, no. Oh, God. Oh, Christ. Does that mean I ate a gnome? I'm afraid so. Dear God. That's really messed up, man. So you said his blood was remarkable. Are you trying to make some sort of inoculation or something like that? I'm trying to concoct a potion from this blood. Hmm. If I'm able to do so, I might be able to prevent you will gesture toward the corpse this from happening again let us know if we can assist you it would be quite nice to have some of that in our journey we're not necessarily assistance for you but we're assistance for the cause as a whole we were ordered to enter the forest ah i see uh, yes i would apologize for my mistake but i'm afraid i simply don't have time to do so no we're willing to help good if any of you experience symptoms of that, f feel free to head back to camp as soon as possible. The earlier I can provide treatment, the better. Just let us know if that potion you're working on ch works. Mm. Probably yes. like to have some of this. This would be a, a useful tool, to say the least. It would. Don't want to end up like that. Many of the people who are injured don't get to exactly leave this place. Unless they're very lucky. Rather sad. Aye. But either way, it seems that there's a gathering at the front. <laughs> you four should go ahead and attend that. I'll get to work on this potion right away. Come. Yeah. Let's let's go. Come. 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 Come now. Oh. Yeah. I'm surprised I was in a party with a cannibal. Hmm. Maybe there was more mad men than I thought. I, I didn't know. I, I'm still. Ah, I'm yes, still yes, yes. So you have to do what you have to do in times of need. Excuse me while I walk outside for a bit. And then, as Agatosh walks outside of the hut, he begins to vomit. Oh, nice. Seems yeah. like an appropriate response, I feel. Plus it's a little one. late for puking. No, it's a bit late for that, yes. <laughs> oh, yes, there's nothing he can really heave up at this point that he hasn't already digested and shat out, but... He should be happy. He survived the Wendigo curse. <laughs> I then suppose... Walks back in the hut. Well, <clears throat> seems that, uh, taking care of that, uh, why don't we go ahead and take our business around the camp? I'll lift up that corpse and take it to the cart while we're heading out. Alrighty. Would you like to... Nah, you probably wouldn't be able to do that. I was gonna say, do you want to loot the corpse? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if it's a patient, it probably had most of its shit taken off of it, so... Hmm. No, and it could be infected not. shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes, man. Yes, man. Does anyone help him? Yeah, sure. Well, I think Roland, you you've got this right. You can carry these corpses by yourself. What? It's just a corpse. I'm gonna help him carry it as well. Unless you want a quick snack. Mm, I'm alright. Just please don't mention uh, the mystery. <laughs> I'm sure I could carry this on my own. Yeah, it's just a corpse. You want to? It's not sure. a deal. No, Let's go the to the thing. cart. Toss this shit right. in the cart. Another cadaver for the cart. And uh, after you do that, I assume you head to the front. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yes, indeed. Ah, hey, you three are. Who is your new friend? I assume this is the reinforcement you brought. Yes. Uh, Jackson. Somebody vaguely less. Ragged and suicidal as the previous two. Jackson, you probably would have at least seen Estrella by this point. Probably avoiding her, because she seems really fucking annoying. However, this giant skeletal man you have never seen before. Uh, 
Additionally, he's a fucking magic skeleton man. <laughs> he's cool. Yeah, speak up. Who are you, boy? Ah, a silent treatment, I see. By the way, I'm glad to have you on this party once more. Estrella, if you could inform them of the task that we have decided on. Gladly. The goal here is simple. <clears throat> Ivan and I will essentially secure a perimeter around all of Glane, or what we can of Glane in order to prevent the petrification of spreading, as well as attempting to hunt down the source of this petrification. Meanwhile, you four will be responsible with heading into the forest and dealing with whatever creatures you find and sit rescuing whatever people that you may see. So you folks are staying outside? Then if you would, I would like to keep something in your hands to prevent it from potentially destroying everything we know and love. Ah, I, I'm willing to bet that you mean the artifact that the king gave you. Yes. I'm afraid I will not be able to take it with me. And like I said, Ivan and I will be entering the forest as well in order to search for the source. Oh. Hmm. Should the rumors be... Is there anyone be... here who hmm? I can trust? Mm, probably... Well, for... there's the... the is Captain Kristoff. Then there is... Adelais, if you wish to trust either of them. Hmm. That will be in mind. Probably toss it over to Adelaide whenever we go. Hmm. Very well. Either way, should rumors be true, there there is the idea that a witch has caused this disaster. Hmm. A witch. That is correct. Currently, their identity is unknown, as well as their motives. However, it is said that a witch experimented on a cleric, and said cleric was able to spread this petrification throughout all of Glane, or at least the southern half of it. Additionally, those who had initially attempted to stop this transform transformation were petrified as well. Rumors have spread of incredibly powerful beings, specifically a, fl a flock of crows, a human, some sort of elephant-like creature that, that yeah, dwells underground, and lastly, a single suit of armor that walks the forest. I'm not too sure of these things, but there's likely someone still in there that can confirm it. Have a way. The humans must be insane. I appreciate your enthusiasm, but don't ru don't try and play hero. Oh, trust me, nobody wants to end up getting mutilated <laughs> or corrupted. Either way, I wish you luck. Oh, and one more thing before you enter the forest. <clears throat> Sorry, I was clearing my throat. <clears> throat> Uh, she will kind of like rummage through the satchel for a second before pulling out a scroll and handing it to you. This is a scroll of messengery. It is inscribed with a Scrivener-esque rune that should allow you to send a message to us whenever needed. It'll provide essentially a telepathic link. Oh god. Scrivener runes. Mm. I will be handing this to the rogue for various reasons. I believe the rogue will be the only one able to use this, if my guess is correct. I'll I'll put this in my satchel. Yes, you may have this. I'll take the paper. Just remember, and kind of... I'm pretty sure everybody here except you, or is not going to be able to use this. I be, anyone strange. should be able to use it. Scrivener is a rather simple craft. Once the rune sure is drawn, it has its power already existing. <laughs> would I know about the runes of Sia? Uh, what do you Sia's mean? Sia's power. Well, you said Scriven, uh, Scrivenry is, uh... Oh, Scrivenry is specifically are... Sia's magic, yeah. 
Yes, and we did see that big serpent use runes, so... Yeah. I'm just gonna uh, say... The casting of runes? Not... Oh. Yes, the, it was using runes. Yeah, the casting of runes does require practice and training, but the usage of them, just like if it's on a scroll, uh, does not require anything. It's like a spell scroll, essentially. Using C as magic, as all of us in the party except Zev has altered fate. <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? Nah. Nah. I don't know what you're talking about, but... Oh, you remember that giant serpent we fought was using runes, and it seemed to be a goon of Zia? Think about it. Oh, That's damn. fine. We're, we're about at the yeah. end, so you're good. Yeah. It's cool, man. This is a good place to end on. See you guys. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Yeah, it's fine. See you later, Zev. Mm -hmm. Alright. If that's enough preparation for you... I suppose it's best that we head out now. Mm, let me drop off this artifact and perhaps pick up an inoculation against the Wendigo curse. Yes, that would be quite a rather good idea. Ivan will quickly lean in. Please, get, fight, make some excuse to get me away from this woman. She's even more insane than I am. Yes, come with me. We can perhaps assist Adelice with the concoction of this potion. Now, now, Ivan, there's no need to complain. If Theseus could have put up with me, so can you. Now come. Help! And you will be dragged off with a small woman. No push. And thus, you will begin your journey into the forest. As the stone trees tower overhead. And the crows of the ravens call. The forest itself is a dense and winding. The sunlight trickles down in parsley to illuminate the forest floor. However much of it is dark and shadowy, and what was once seen as illuminating flora is now simply turned to stone. And thus, you have entered the forest of Glane. And oh. thus, this is where our, came our session must end, sadly. That was a good Just let knows that whenever you see him next time, I toss that plus one scimitar at him. He can use that. Noted. You should probably just DM him that. Yeah. Plus one come. I thank you all for coming and playing. Hell oh, yeah. It's fun mm -hmm. as always. That was a fucking way better session than Tuesdays. Oh my gosh. Whew. Hey, what was Tuesdays? Uh, probably the worst D and D session I've ever ran in my life. It was, was it a complete in train Hell's wreck. Mall or something? Yeah, it was into Hell's Maw. Was there the... an attempted puzzle master session that didn't work out too no, well? No, it was just I did really bad story writing, really bad RP on my end, really bad combat design, really bad enemy design. Everything about it was just fucking awful. Uh, if I could retcon it all, I would, but I must live with my mistakes, and I will try and write better next time. That group, for me at least, has been very difficult to please. Uh, uh I don't know. No. Give him some capsules, dude. Oh yeah, don't worry, I will. Give next them the pacifiers, dog. Yeah, next episode they'll be getting five capsules. Are they an evil party? They're not an evil party. Uh, I'm just stupid. Uh, specifically, uh, uh Latin and Lunar are both players that, like, work with maps all the time, and I can't do maps at the moment because it causes my computer to fucking explode. Uh, or I have to spend $50 to get Foundry, which I plan on doing fairly soon. So... It kind of just becomes a bit of an issue. I don't care. Uh, but another thing is, I, they did have, like, a sort of Ivan Boneworks type thing, uh, which... I'm probably just gonna get rid of characters like that altogether in the near future. Uh, and specifically designate it to something like side NPCs that you can just kind of like interact to yeah. not yeah, something you really can fight with be helping you because yeah. that's Bone like you gotta it's, understand it's like, really high stupid. level high level in D&D &D isn't something you can balance because they break the balance of the game yeah that it's completely my fault as a new DM I was doing it more as I'm writing a book rather than writing a D&D &D story and that's completely my fault uh and I will be taking that that knowledge and doing much better with it later Putting much more agency into the player's hands, essentially. And it's also, cool it's a lot easier to make boss encounters whenever you're balancing it around the players only, yeah. and not the 
<laughs> not something with incredible amounts of tools. You know? Hello, hello. Mm -hmm. Jeff Hardy watches as the two NPCs duke it out. Yeah. But yeah, I thank you all for playing. Yeah. What did I roll on that chart? Like, I'm surprised that chart got specific enough to the long swords. Were there like some off screen rolls for what it was going to be? Uh, no. Essentially, I'll go ahead and say this. Where is it? Like, I won't use it in character. I'm not intending on throwing more of those things. Yeah. E2 has the rest of the fucking capsules, so. I'll just say this. Um. Hyper secret. Actually, wait, let me end VOD, actually. No one can know this. Yeah. See you guys next time. Go fuck yourself.